Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back, it is me, Rachel. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my brand new MacBook Pro. So before we get into the video, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, and if you liked the video, make sure you like, comment, and share with everybody you no. So this 13 inch MacBook Pro is a late Christmas gift to myself. I ordered it on December 28th, 2021 and it delivered on January 6th, 2022. I've been anticipating opening this up for you all. I decided to go ahead and purchase this brand new MacBook Pro because from my personal computer I had been using my MacBook Air but I purchased that back in 2017 and used that all the way throughout college. So it's about four and a half years old and I have used up all of the storage on that MacBook Air. I can't even edit videos on it anymore. It's just done. So I decided that I'm going to trade that in so I can get a credit for this. I will talk about that a little later. But since I've been unable to edit my videos on my MacBook Air, I've been editing them on my iMac, which has kind of been a hindrance because I've only been able to edit my videos while sitting at my desk. And sometimes I do want to work on things and sometimes I do want to edit on my sofa or even my bed or sometimes I want to go somewhere and take my computer along with me but I've been unable to do that so now that I have this new computer I am looking forward to the mobility that it is going to give me so like I said before this is the MacBook Pro 13 inch in the color space gray my work computer is a MacBook Pro but that is the color silver so I wanted something different so this computer has 512 gigabytes of storage versus 256 my old MacBook was 256 gigabytes and I was going back and forth whether I wanted to get 256 and save some money or get 512 and I was on the phone with the Apple rep but he suggested that I go ahead and do 512 since I do do a lot of videos and since I do have a lot of pictures and with MacBooks you can never go up in storage so I just wanted to be safe with that and I'm really glad that I did it because I do plan on having this MacBook for a long long time so I did get $325 in trade-in value I have not traded in my MacBook Air just yet because the trading kit is on the way I kind of wish that the trading kit and the MacBook delivered at the same time um, just so I can go ahead and get that out the way but that's no big deal because they give you 14 days to ship it off once it delivers so the original price for the 13 inch at 512 gigabytes is $14.99 and if you take off my trading credit that I got which is $325 um, the total comes out to be $1,174, but I am financing this on my Apple card, so I'm paying it off monthly, and they're going to bill me, I think, on the 31st of every month and there is no interest on the apple card and with apple purchases you do get three percent cash back so monthly i'm going to be paying 97 dollars and 83 cents which i don't think is too bad hopefully i can pay it off before 12 months because 12 months is kind of a long time to be paying my computer off i kind of want to get it out the way so i'll see if i'll be able to do that with the apple card but i haven't made any payments for it just yet i've only paid the taxes on it which is 93 dollars and 92 cents i know i've been talking quite a bit and i know you all are ready to see this macbook so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it
love with it. I wanna do a comparison of this MacBook to my MacBook Air. So I'm holding my MacBook Air and I can already tell it is way heavier than this MacBook Pro. Significant, this is significantly lighter. This is silver and this is space gray. So this is smaller than this one even though I believe this is still 13 inch. I'm not sure why that is but I am excited to have a more compact computer and I'm very excited for the touch bar on this computer because I do have a MacBook Pro from my work computer and I just like the ease of the touch bar. But I will say that the old MacBook Air has that my MacBook Pro does not have is these USB ports, but that's something that Apple made changes to a long time ago. But I was able to get some USB to USB-C ports um, for Christmas, so I shouldn't have any trouble um, connecting the USB USB to USC ports um, when I wanna put my hard drive in or when I wanna charge my phone. But I wonder why Matt, I wonder why Apple decided to take out the USBs. I guess because um, the USB slots are a little thick and I guess they're going for like a slimmer look with this MacBook. Um, but it does have a headphone jack which i am surprised that they have i would have expected them to have usbs over headphone jacks since everybody is using um airpods now so i did decide to order some accessories for my laptop from amazon just to make sure my computer doesn't get any scratches just to make sure that it's protected i will link this in the description box i got a hardcover case and a portable soft cover case in this really pretty purple color that I'm excited for. Purple is my favorite color. So let's go ahead and open this up. And here's the hard shell case. I've never had a hard shell case on my laptops before. Not quite sure why, I've always thought hardcover cases were very pretty, but I just never did. I have the soft case, the hard shell case, and it also comes with this silicone keypad, if you all can see. So I'm actually not a fan of silicone keypads. I had one for my old computer, probably wore it for about a month after I got it, but after that I just, Prefer not to wear it. I don't like how soft it makes the keys. I like to type on real keys versus, I don't know, silicone. It does come with webcam covers. I thought that was a really great touch. It comes with two, so I'm gonna put one on here and I'm gonna put one on my work computer. And I should probably get one to put on my iMac um, just because it's literally in the middle of my living room. This comes with a screen protector as well. I am not sure if I'm going to be using this screen protector. It probably would be responsible for me to do that, but I cannot stand air bubbles. I've always had a hard time putting screen protectors on my devices, so we'll see how I feel about that. Unfortunately, it looks like this case does not fit. Um, I was having a hard time trying to snap this on. So this like this right corner is not snapping like it should and I don't think I should be having as hard of a time as I am snapping this on. But I will still leave this case set in the description box because it did have good reviews. I am 
super excited to go ahead and get started with my brand new MacBook Pro. I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing video because I enjoyed filming it for you all. Make sure you like, share, and leave a comment down below. I will see you all in the next video.